Hey, guess who arbitrarily decided it's time for a run with Judas? That was definitely me and no one else. Maybe someone else as well. But I was also involved in the decision process and it was very exciting. I'm glad to be finally part of the deciding process when it comes to these videos. But here we are. I can finally, finally play as Judas and just not worry so much about things, you know? Get a lucky toe in the first room. You never know when you need a lucky toe. Might be useful somewhere along the line. I don't know if it will be. I'm, this probably wasn't a very good idea <laughs> in hindsight because I haven't played in a couple days and everything's moving so quickly for me right now. But I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get through this. I'm sure we'll be fine. If we can get through basement one, we'll probably end up being pretty okay. So I, I, I have high hopes. If we can get through basement one, this run will be okay. If we can't get through basement one, we'll have died. And then it doesn't matter anymore if we get through it or not. So yeah, it'll probably be fun. It'll probably be okay. This is probably the room where I'm gonna die. I, I'd have high, low hopes, <laughs> very low hopes for this particular room. For some reason, these guys have been hitting me a lot lately. I'm not sure why. I just see that happens more and more frequently with these guys. And I'm like, they're not especially difficult or anything. They're just sort of there. I should probably go into my item room first before I start dealing with bosses. Before we know it, it's gonna be like the dude that splits off into a whole bunch of different dudes. And then I just die because he deals a full heart of damage because that's what he does. He's just too strong for me right now. He's just too strong. I don't have the hearts to deal with that, although now I have a strength card, so... My survivability chances have increased by about one. So that's that's looking good. Looking good. What? Oh. <laughs> he wasn't dead yet. He was playing a ruse on my face. And we got Dry Baby. Which is not a bad item. Not bad at all. Dry Baby. Good black and tears. You don't... I actually haven't gotten him in a while, I don't think. I haven't I don't remember having him for quite a while now at least, so it's it's about time that we actually see him. Plus we pretty much never see him in our item room either. He usually just like comes out of a skull or whatever. But that's fine. He can do whatever he wants. If he wants to come out of a skull, that's his choice. I'm not gonna judge him for that. Well maybe a little bit, but not not harshly. He will I will he will not be harshly judged this day for coming out of a skull. But is there a secret room here? Maybe. It looks like it has potential. Maybe. Eee. Probably could have hit that pot if I did that right as well, but I, I did not. I did not do it very correctly. And now here we are. We have 17 coins. I think this is enough to visit my shop before I go on to the boss. I think this might suffice to stay alive. Will it be enough or will I die horribly? There we go. I was kind of hoping for a soul heart. That was really the main thing I came here for because for the most part, I just want to go into that curse room and if I can kill the boss without losing too much health, then I'm pretty okay with whatever happens. This run's mostly just to put coins in my donation machine anyway. So even even if, if I die now, it's, it's fine. We did basement one. Uh, we start off with three coins as Judas, which is why I chose him and it was not arbitrary. It was just because I knew about those coins. And we're fighting the Duke of Flies, which might not be too bad. Might not be too bad. It might be. You never know what the Duke of Flies. He's a loose cannon. He can do whatever he wants. He can suddenly become incredibly dangerous. But so far, he looks like he's going to die. And he died because he shot tears when I was not even near him. And we got a health up as well. I guess we're going into our curse room. It seems uh, like a pretty good idea right now. But it's, it's now I feel kind of bad for buying that soul heart. But simultaneously... It could have been a scary boss who could have hurt me a lot, and that would have been really sad, so there you go. Would have liked if there was a bomb inside those things, but twas not to be. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go here to see if he sells a bim, because if he sells a bim, then I can blow up those fires and maybe get a soul heart. I'm not really sure why I want soul heart so badly right now, because we got the Book of Elisle, so we're going to get devil deals regardless, so I'm not really sure what I'm trying to gain here. But it'll make sense. Look at that. That's a whole big batch of nothing right there. But it'll work out. Don't worry about it. There's enough health here to go to pass around. That was a waste of a lot of hearts and money and bombs. A lot of things were wasted this day. But maybe maybe Basement 2 is going to change our minds and how terrible this run is. At least we got two hearts right now. So we're basically already a, just a better cane effectively. Especially with that lucky toe. So, it'll probably end up being okay. We're getting a lot of keys. This run. We already got two. Wow. That's enough to open your own bar. That does not even make sense, but I'd choose to go with it regardless. 
That is now my statement regarding this situation. Sort of surprised I managed to dodge those tears because I was not mentally prepared for tears coming out of that guy. Even though it would happen every single time, every single time we play this game. Maybe I'm just subconsciously playing this game right now and I'm just putting most of my efforts into talking instead. Which is a terrible idea. Like, if you... If you need to just unleash the verbal nonsensicity required to make videos like this, you don't want to be focusing on talking. You want to just have talking done automatically and focus entirely on the game while doing so. And just pretend that you're actually forming a coherent story in the end. Because if you're going to think too much about it, you're just going to run out of things to talk about. Whereas if you just let your subconscious mind do all the work, It'll just go. It'll just go on its own little wacky adventures and who knows where you're gonna end up. Before you know it, you're talking about, like, drinking your own tears to survive. Which, apparently, does not work out. Uh, someone, uh, su just uh, has verified to me that you, it is somewhat impossible to sustain a survivable life entirely on tears. Which, uh, without these videos, I wouldn't... A, have ever considered doing that, and B, I would have not known the answer to it because I would have never asked the question. So, all in all, these videos are a learning experience for everyone involved. Not a bad item, but I don't particularly want it because the Book of Belial is hilariously powerful. I'll pick it up because I genuinely have no idea what I have and haven't picked up so far. So, I might as well take it. I mean, it's right there, you know. Might as well. It's not gonna hurt me any. So, free things. But now we're just going to keep focusing on actually killing the enemies. These guys, I don't particularly like these guys. They shoot too many tears for my taste. They shoot them all over the place as well. It's very dangerous. Especially with these guys that actually explode into tears as well. But we'll probably be okay. If this guy can just die, then I'm no longer really worried. There we go. Now it's not so bad anymore. It's kind of mean that they explode in like eight directions as well instead of the four they are continuously shooting in. Because it's like, how, how are you supposed to dodge? It's impossible. What we just did? Impossibility. Not actually a thing you can do in the game. So, sorry about that, uh, that I'm spreading misinformation about this video game. It is actually impossible to dodge that, and uh, I hope you can forgive me. I'm gonna buy that Soul Heart, because if there is Devil Deals here, I want them. I have now decided that I'm just gonna be incredibly dangerous during this run and just take everything that the game has to offer. I should probably try to go for Angel Room items, but simultaneously, I think I'd rather do that with an Isaac run, really, because it's just more... Likely you'll actually get new items that way So if the game is gonna give me something cool here, I'll just take it probably. It'll be more fun The last with the book of Belial. who knows if you're ever gonna get the uh, angel room, right? So yeah Hey, we can turn into ourselves when we die. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna take that. Why not? I'm gonna take this too Now I'm gonna eat all these pills get a health up and heal. <laughs> that was a strange turn of events right there I did not actually expect to come out of that with more red hearts than Zero, really. That was the amount I was hoping for, and we managed to uh, far surpass the zero. Also, we should be able to go into that little room over here, because I think this is a boss room? Yeah. What do you have to offer? One gold chest. I will open you, maybe. If I can charge my Book of Belial, then I'll probably open it. If I can't charge my Book of Belial, I will not, and that is that will be the end of it. I'm sort of tempted to just die, so I've become the uh, Judas' shadow. Or I'll just let the dry baby kill everyone. I mean, that, that works too, I suppose. But, yeah, I kind of, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it right now, you know? I feel like this is a good time to die. And it would make me more powerful. But simultaneously, it would be slightly more dangerous. I don't know if it would be a very good idea. We turn into ourselves, effectively, so that's kind of cool. You don't often turn into yourself with Judas' shadow. In fact... Out of every character that can currently get Judas' Shadow, this character benefits the least. <laughs> really? I don't think it gets the most out of those buffs, but whatever. We get two black hearts, so that's kind of cool. We got a lot of money out of this, so... Oh no, I'm feeling it. Probably shouldn't have picked that up, but whatever. I'm just gonna use my Strength card here, actually. Might as well use it. We're fighting like two bosses here. We might as well use it. Seems like a good enough place. Though simultaneously, it might have been better to save that, like to use it on a later Devil Deal, maybe. Because it does give you a heart container for the room. I ran into that enemy. Didn't even deal a full heart of damage, even though he's a champion, which is kind of embarrassing, really. But, yeah, Strength Card might be good for that. Why are we getting so many keys? <laughs> what is with the amount of keys that we are acquiring during this run? Because, quite frankly, the number is quite substantial. And I find it confusing to me. 
but I will ignore it. I will instead just put all my coins into my donation machine, ignore that battery, which would definitely help us out because it would mean that we could use our Book of Belial uh, every two rooms instead of every three rooms. So, you know, that would be kind of good. But, hey. So, uh, nah. Yeah, right? Yeah. There you go. I'm glad you guys understand. That's that my counter argument makes sense. You could also then find like the trickle charge and then you could like the that's the trinket battery trinket trinket battery and uh, Then you'd basically use it once every room which would actually be quite good But again, I decided not to buy the nine volt battery because I am a greedy bastard with a hermit card And I will happily use that hermit card because it allows us to get out of here without taking damage Also red candle over here. I'm tempted to get that at least might try and go for that. Uh, I'm considering taking that chest too. Like, I kind of... I didn't buy that so hard just yet because I kind of want to die. So I'll be doing the shadow and I'll just be cooler looking. I'll be a little bit better and whatnot. So I'm leaving it there for now. I'm not going to pick up any soul hearts during this floor either. Seems like a good idea. And maybe at some point we'll get a bomb that's not a key. Because so far, all of our bombs have been very key shaped and they don't explode very hard. And I don't fully understand how the game differentiates between a bomb and a key shaped bomb. There we go. That's what I wanted. Because I also kind of want to, like. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Careful now. <laughs> that guy was going to insta kill me if he hit me, and that would be very sad. Oh my god, why? I didn't want that yet. <laughs> I don't want healing. I don't want health. I don't want to survive. If only I knew. If only I knew. Oh well. What's this card? Magician card and boop. And the moon. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think I will take my thingy thing over here. Okay, it's one. Gertie Jr. I can deal with that, I think. If he doesn't move, then I'll be okay. If he, the moment he moves, I will definitely die. But uh, so far, I've managed to somehow avoid his movement. There we go. Now the death is incoming. Death is definitely approaching, and it's all very, very sad. Mr. Squeezy. That's already three soul hearts I can just pick up all willy-nilly. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking that one. I like that one. Uh, now I feel kind of sad for having a heart container, really. Because with soul hearts, I would have been able to pick up more, I think. But, oh well. Whatever. Not gonna worry about it too much. That's just how it goes sometimes. I should probably, like, try to go for my boss rush with this moon card and get an extra item that way, but, eh, I'm not really feeling it right now. Not really feeling too boss rushy this day. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not taking that. That's useless to me. It is just space that's wasted that I could have used my, for my lucky toe instead. Get them extra consumables, which are apparently all keys. And it would be very useful that way. I considered getting the guppies thing, just for the sake of it being a guppy piece, but I quite like flying. Flying's quite nice, it keeps you alive a lot. It keeps you away from scary spikes as well, like there's a lot of things that that particular thing helps you with, and this is one of the many. Might as well open all these things, like we have so many keys right now, so we might as well open every golden chest on the floor. Eh. I didn't, I didn't actually realize we hadn't gone to our item room yet, which makes sense because we did get that thingy card. That's actually not bad. That gives us five free bombs because it's that's what the item does when you pick it up, so it's very nice. Oop, no. Nah. Hoping to push it into that wall, but that wouldn't actually have done anything because our secret room's not there. But still, would have been cool. I don't like this room. Let's see what uh, what we can do from here. I'm not really sure how I'm going to die right now either. Like, I'm getting into those problems where I want to die, but I haven't quite decided how yet. And the fact that we can no longer run into spikes has somewhat limited the amount of possibilities we have in terms of being able to die. This seems like a good place to die, actually. Oh, hey. Suicide King. It's the best place to die, apparently. <laughs> if the game wants to give me that, then sure. Uh, not really a super good item or anything, but hey, it works out. Now, if you pick that up, it's gonna just make the boss thing start again. Oh, we actually got a thing out of that. That's fairly surprising. But we should be dealing a little bit more damage now, I think. We should be maybe a little bit faster. Unfortunately, because we've got the demon wings, we don't look as cool. <laughs> which is really one of the only downsides right now. Because Judas' shadow is a lot more apparent when you haven't been turned into a demon, and we have, so... There you go. It's kind of sad, but it's... It's the truth. What are you going to do? 
What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Take that, puberty. That trip. Wow, two hearts. That's nasty. But that's okay, though. Tooth shot, Guppy's head. I'm tempted to take Guppy's head, actually. Eh, yeah, I'll actually go with the Guppy's head because we already have the, um, the goat head as well. So, Devil Deals are gonna open regardless. And I quite like my flies. I don't think it's actually as good <laughs> as the uh, Book of Belial, but that's okay. Uh, you just enjoy a good time. Yeah, I'll just go like this. I'll get the candle at another time. We'll just focus on putting more coins in this thing because for some reason the game's being very generous with how many coins I can actually put in here. This particular one. There we go. Actually, exactly on zero, surprisingly enough. And I guess we could just keep going now. There's also a soul heart still in our boss room as well. So we'll have a reasonable amount of health before we continue on with two soul hearts, actually. Wish I had a strength card, though. Would have been pretty helpful, but I don't think there's a strength card on this floor, and I don't really want to do with that one room. So, we're just gonna keep going. At least in the loading screens, we look really cool, and like before we like actually stand up to go continue onwards in the floor, where we lie on the floor, like we look pretty cool then. It's just that when we actually play around, we just look like a demon. Just this sort of generic demon. They die in two shots right now, and I'm pretty happy about that. I like it when these guys die quick. Yeah, these guys die quick. There we go. Hard words. Because they're just irritating. I like it when it does a two shot as well, because that deals like a multiplier amount of damage based on your current damage, I believe, which is quite nice. Makes me be a little bit stronger, like, and I feel all powerful and things. Are we still in the caves? God, yeah. I'm not hurrying this run up at all. Should I use that? Probably not. It doesn't really... Make the run more interesting. Although I could take it along with me, I suppose. Would make it a little bit more difficult. Um, although, I don't know what I would want, though. Oh, actually, I do. I'm gonna take it. This is not a better choice at all, but I feel like it, and that's a good enough reason for me. I'm just gonna do stuff in this run. Like, pretty much every run from this point on is just gonna be runs with stuff in them. I will do things, definitely not always the best choices, but I'll do whatever seems like kind of a neat thing that I haven't done in the video before, maybe. Unless I have and I don't remember. That's the subtitle of every video that I'm going to make from this point on. It's quite long, but it gets the general point across. This is actually quite good. And yeah, it's quite good. We might be able to turn into Guppy this run after all, if we're a little bit more lucky. We could maybe get rid of our keys finally with that Guppy's tail, and I'll pick that up in a minute. There we go. Now that there was only one enemy alive, and not everyone was, like, jumping at me all the time, that seemed like a pretty good time to be doing that. The only real downside with the two-shot is that it's, I believe, it's based on your luck stop. And it doesn't really happen all that frequently. Let's be honest here, it's not activating. You see a tooth every time it happens, like you saw it there just now. And it's just, <laughs> Our luck, even though, even though we have the lucky toe, not that impressive right now. Not actually very impressed at all. Which is a shame, because I like being impressed, and also it does a pretty reasonable amount of damage as well, so... Please impress me, game. Impress me with your mighty luck stat, and with your dry baby goodness, because the dry baby is really paying for itself right now. Lover's card, not really sure why I'm taking that over the magician card, but maybe we'll find a dark bum somewhere along the line. That'll make it worthwhile. If you find a dark bum on this floor, I'll definitely take it, because there's so many red hearts on this floor for some reason. I think that's puberty. Yeah, I remembered. I remembered the thing. You guys, I remember the thingy thing. I'm amazed by myself currently. I am actually genuinely amazed by my own ability to remember things because I always forget. I don't know why, but it's so easy to forget what pills do in a single run. It's also the only pill I actually remember. I remember that there's one bad trip pill that we've at least already seen, so I'm happy about that, I suppose, but I don't remember which one it is. I'd have to pick it up again. What was in my shop? I don't remember. Was there anything good in my shop? I know I had, like, no money when I got in there, I guess, but... Oh, yeah. Eh, hmm. Tempted to get the big fly thing, because... We're, like, one piece away from Guppy, and... Having big flies at that point's... Kinda good. But I need a couple more coins. I need to find my secret room, probably. Which, uh, we might. I might try and look for that, if we don't find the necessary keys later on in this floor. We are running out of space to find money in, so... At some point, we will actually need to do it. Flying's just so nice, because we can just, like, hover over all these spikes in that room as well. It just makes everything a lot safer. This gives you a lot more room to move. You can hide over, like, the holes and things. Everything's just so nice and calm and safe, and it's just good. Abel? Who doesn't want Abel? The best character. 
truly and surely. Yeah. But whatever. Uh, let's just kill everything. And move on. Hey! Not quite enough. Not quite enough. But I'll go in here first. Mega Fairy. Now would actually have been a good time to have the Book of Belial because I deal slightly more damage and this guy's kind of rude in that regard. And it is still on this floor as well. Like, there were some mistakes made in the past five seconds. But I'm willing to overlook that for now. I'm willing to overlook it for the sake of... Uh, it was all to make the game a little bit harder for myself, you see. It's to make the run more interesting if I just forget stuff. That's the plan. And it's a question mark. So that could be telepill, so I'll not take it. And I did just say that I would take the dark bomb if it showed up. And I stand by my word. It currently only has one heart, but I'll use that. And that should maybe spawn a spider. Good. Uh, we already got the hematomosis card, so I guess we're probably not... Or a uh, pill, rather. So I uh, shouldn't be helping for that right now, but I'm going to feed a lot of hearts on this particular floor, fortunately. Hopefully it'll pay back for itself. So far, we already got one out of the three that we spent on him, so with some luck, we might get some more over here. This was a pretty lucrative room for hearts as well. So with some luck, he's going to spawn a couple of not spiders. That's a spider. That is also a spider that killed the original spider. Thanks, game! <laughs> That's sort of impressively horrible, but I'll just go with it, I suppose. Where do I want to go now? Oh yeah, secret room. That's the thing I wanted to look for. Uh, it's not here. It's not to the right of me. It could be up here. Maybe. And it could be to the right as well. Yeah, it could be up here. I think. So this could be good. Hey! And we got bims, but maybe the shopkeeper has some money. Maybe the fires have some money in it. Please. Hey, that's a 15 coins. What? That's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous amount of money to get out of one of those guys, but sure. If you want to pay for the entire thing, then don't let me stop you. What's this thing again? 48 hour energy. Well, that's very good with this item, which you can use once and then it disappears forever. Uh, so that's good. I guess we haven't actually used this item before, so uh, you guys didn't even know that, maybe. Or maybe you did. Maybe you've played this game. Good choice. It's a fun game. You should play it more often. Come on, do it. I also know that I'm pretty sure I saw my super secret room earlier. Well, not so much saw it, but saw a very potential place for it to exist. Also, I'm gonna, like, break these things, I think. I have a couple bombs available to me right now, so I might as well try. A uh, pill, which was the 48-hour energy, I believe. Yep. I remembered it because it happened on the same floor. But I think like all the way to the left over here, there is like a very potential place for there to be a super secret room. Yeah, over here. And it is not there. All right, cool. Ugh. Well, we tried. I guess we could have hit these as well to see if we could have got a single coin and we did. So that would have been option number OB, but oh well, it's too late for that now. Is there not another room which looks sort of Super secrety. Eh, I don't know. I don't really want to waste too many bombs on this as well because super secret rooms are good. They can be good, but they can also just be sort of bad. <laughs> they can also just be sort of meh. So, hey, we found it in the end. Oh, we found five pills. Speed down. Hey, it was worthwhile. <laughs> it was very worthwhile, actually. Wow, look at that. Spiders. Man, the Dark Bomb is not feeling it today, but whatever, I guess. Sort of tempted to get that other item from the Devil Deal now, but it's not actually that good. <laughs> That's kind of my only downside on that idea. Like, that is almost certainly not going to pay off for itself, so I don't think I'll take that. It was only a Gimpy Mask anyway. If it was, like, another Guppy piece, I would have, like, 100% taken it, but... As it stands, it's just kind of nah. It's kind of nah. Don't really want it. Don't really need it. We're gonna move on. And live our lives to the fullest. If we could get a dead cat, I'd be pretty happy with that. Like, it would turn this into Guppy. We wouldn't have any more damage problems, which we don't really have, let's be honest. But we wouldn't have any more as well. And, um... Well, we'd just be Guppy. Like, that's good enough for reason for me, really. Plus, it would solve this constant fear I have that I'm going to die somewhere during this run. I don't really want to die during this run. It's going pretty okay. I'm taking some unnecessary risks, but that's just the fun of Isaac. If you don't take risks, you're just uh, playing as a loss, pretty much. Which is a character where you just reset until the run goes well. It's great. I'm so glad we don't have to play. Like, 
I will probably mention that every now and then. Then I'm just, I'm just so glad that I don't have to play as a lost anymore. I'm still genuinely surprised at how quick that went as well, <laughs> because God, it was the first time that I went through the lost. I had a minus 100 something death streak after a while. It was just a nightmarish experience. And admittedly, some of those were like going into a curse room and then realizing there's nothing in there and just killing myself because I couldn't be bothered to like hold the R button down and like stuff like that. Oh, that's good. Um, and stuff like that definitely killed me more often than I would dare to admit, but still. A lot of there were a couple good runs in there, and it's just kind of sad when you get a good run with that character because it can just suddenly end, and then there goes your good run. Also, we're guppy now, so that's uh, yeah, we're no longer gonna die in this run. We've basically won at this point because our damage is pretty good, and guppy only enhances that by about a million. So pretty much everything we're gonna get during this run is good. We got a soul heart out of a golden chest. Doesn't happen very often, but it's possible. We got a bunch of ghosts existing theoretically. And they died pretty quickly as well. Everything's just dying really quickly now. I like it. I wonder if there's an arcade room on this floor. I'm tempted to take that, uh, thing. The bloody penny. Because that can... That's actually... Yeah, I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> because that's just really good with the Dark Bomb as well. It's actually just a really good trinket a lot of the time. It combines really well with a lot of other items. And I don't like it. But simultaneously, it can also be entirely worthless. <laughs> so there's, there's that, I suppose. Uh... BFF wouldn't really do anything, but it would make my dark bum bigger. That's kind of cute. And our, uh, our dry, ba dry baby is also a little bit bigger now. So, you know, it can block tears better. That was that was the idea behind that lucrative decision right there. I found my item room yet? No. Look, a whole bunch of hearts came out of that golden poop right there. We got another soul art out of it. This is nice synergy. It's a synergy and it's nice. It gives me free stuff. And then I turn the free stuff into even more free stuff. What else could you possibly desire in an Isaac run? Nothing. We got everything we could possibly want. Every single item in the game that we could possibly want is currently in our possession. All of them. Every single one. And now we're just going to keep looking for our item room because it's lost. And now we found it. Yes, uh, oh, hey, this thing again. Good. At least with this, it's a lot easier to use because we can actually just run into the corners like this, but... It's not a very good item. I don't really care for it all that much, I'll be honest. There are better items in the game, in my humble opinion. Oh god, this is not a nice room at all. This is also, a, like, if you get this room with the loss, it's like, well, I might die. <laughs> there's really not much I can do about it. Sometimes the enemies just decide to be really aggressive and there's just, well, death. Death appears. And it's sad when that happens. <laughs> Because there really isn't that much you can- they can just suddenly all just be really aggressive and jump at you at the same time and it's like, well, I guess this runs over now because of reasons. But that's just Isaac. In Isaac, you just- sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you just get shafted so hard that there's really nothing you can do. Was there anything else I wanted to buy or like a soul heart? Yeah. Yeah. I did want to. I did want to buy it there. Oh, meant to open that. It was a tactical lock. Cage? Yeah, dog. Well, our damage is ridiculous. Our damage is pretty silly right now, I'll be honest. Uh, you know what? Sure. It barely costs anything. Might as well take it. Makes us all ghost-like and things. Now we have a really scary face. We're no longer a really cute cat. Though we still have Guppy's collar. So there's that, I suppose. But we're no longer as, as adorable. Uh, okay. I was kind of hoping for something more exciting, but I'm not excited, I'll be honest. I'm currently not in the process of being excited. I'm actually going to take this. I've never actually taken this thing before, I don't think. I don't actually recall ever taking it with me. I probably should. Because, like, it's just not good. Like, <laughs> all it does is make the game harder, for as far as I can tell. And, like, in normal mode, ch like, uh, challenge, not challenger, um, champion enemies, they're pretty good because they drop a lot of hearts and stuff. But in, in like, hard mode, it's just stronger enemies a lot of the time. It's just a lot less guaranteed that it'll actually drop anything, and it's like, well... This trinket is kinda butts, but now it doesn't actually matter if my run finishes anyway. Plus, it'll finish pretty much regardless. Like, this run is one. This one is run, like... This run is one, like, five hours ago when we got Guppy. Which was definitely five hours ago. And look at our health as well, it just keeps going up. This game does not want me to die this run. And I'm entirely okay with that. 
I could break those skulls, but I'm lazy. Very lazy. Therefore, I won't do it. We won't do such things. Number three. That's ridiculous. I'm not taking that. Mostly because I always forget what it does. Like, two, three, and four. They're just those ones where it's like, well, I could take it, but it doesn't really do that much. And it's not really noticeable enough that anyone cares. I'll take that. This could be like a horrible idea. Or a really great one. So, yeah. There's the reasoning behind that one. Two a spade? Sure. I want this chaos card because I want to kill man with it. I want to kill man with the chaos card. Yeah, it seems like a good order. Because then... I won't have to fight her as much. And that's the plan. I'm actually not sure when I want to use this. Because I could also use it on, like, a boss. I'm tempted to use it on Satan, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna use it on Satan, I think. That seems like a fun idea. I don't know where... It, like, that... Of, of all possible ideas I've ever had. That's probably the most fun idea I've ever had. Like, by at least nine. By at least nine ideas, this is the most fun one. This is also quite a nice room to have with flying and, uh... Scorp... Uh, Samson's thing, which is with Duba's nibbin. Because... You can just run. You can just fly and... Break all these skulls and potentially get all these good things. This is also one of the few times that we're getting skulls that actually drop things. Like, when we actually want things to drop from these things, they just don't. They refuse. But right now, they're just giving us more and more things every single time. Uh, the Bogo Bombs, but also that one. I'll take that one. Just leave. Alright, so we got Purity, which doesn't really do a whole lot for us right now. So, I think I'll just... Yeah, I'll just take that one and then go on. Maybe find something cool somewhere along the line. Like that guy. Very cool. Ooh, look at our tears. They're like flying through the room right now. Why are they... Okay. <laughs> that took a really long time for some reason, but sure. Whatever you want, game. Alright, so we're fighting mom. Everyone's taking a long time to jump down right now. I'm not really sure what's going on there. I'm gonna take the negative. And gonna go here. Uh, whoop. There we go. Let's do this floor again. This floor was so much fun, I can do it twice. And we will. Mostly because I wanted the... Uh, hey, we actually get the same room again? That's weird. Huh. That was very bizarre. I didn't actually know it worked like that. I'm actually like not super sure how repeating a like, room works, honestly. But, hey, now we got the negative in this, uh, in this floor. So we haven't had that before, I don't think. Not super noticeable or anything, but sometimes you'll hear like a weird hissing sound and you'll know something's happening. And yeah, we got another three as well. Look at that. I really didn't know it was that similar. Like, the floor is different, I think. Isn't it different? We're getting the same rooms as well. But I feel like the structure of the floor is different. Unless... Okay, hang on. Hang on. If I go up here and... No, it is definitely a different floor because that big room was not there, I don't think. I don't think we fought a big room like this previously. I'm pretty sure it is a little bit different, but it's oddly similar, though. And then there's a lot of odd similarities we're finding in these rooms. Look at how big our flies are as well. Look at that. Isn't that just nice? Isn't that just neat? Oh, yeah, because I bought that hive mind. And uh, that's I guess, I guess that's why we're also so powerful. Like, in combination with being guppy, it's also just that our flies are also ridiculous. Basically, everything we got is ridiculous. This entire build is ridiculous. I'm gonna break some skulls. Come on, skulls. Eh. Even even with flying, hitting these in the corner can be fiddly as butts. I'm going to use this. That might save some time. Okay. We almost missed our item room because I definitely would not have run back there. I probably most certainly could not be bothered to do that. So, that's a lucky one. Beeper. Beepity pop. Plop, plop. And let's go. I kind of wish that we got Isaac's heart during this run, which is also one of the reasons why I decided to repeat a floor at all. Because getting Isaac's heart is just such an interesting experience sometimes. It's, it's not a good item at all in my opinion, but it can be. <laughs> Usually it isn't, but it can be really good. Also, I probably should have bought the uh, card mimic. I'm gonna see if I can get some more coins thinking about it. That might be... Uh, that's something I want. That's actually quite good. And we get another purity rune as well. So there's, yeah, a lot of similarities in repeating this floor, but... Also minor differences at the same time. It's very unusual. Very unusual. Give me coins! Turn into coins! Turn into chests to drop coins! That's halfway there, pretty much. Where does one get more coins? We could just go to the arcade room, I suppose. That would probably actually work quite well. 
But first, I'll kill some more enemies and see if we can just get a coin somewhere. That would also work fairly well. There's also just coins over here, apparently. I just didn't pick up two coins. I guess I was, I'm actually becoming that lazy that I'm just no longer doing anything. I'm just sort of surviving by the magic of having a really overpowered build. Oh, and our tears are reflecting back to us now, so that's good. Speed down pill, very useful. I'm too lazy. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. It's a good thing we used that sun card as well, because I forgot that we did that, and... I was just like, oh, our secret room's on the map. I guess we've already been there, but no. That's yeah, not what happened. Boop. And I don't think I want anything else, really. But, oh yeah, this is not even an arcade room. What am I even doing with my life? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what any of these numbers mean. Why did I even think that was an arcade room? It's a very different room. <laughs> they have very different purposes and functionalities. But yeah, card mimic with chaos card, that's gonna basically make every boss battle somewhat of a joke. Because uh, everyone will just die, and it's kinda cool. Everything's gonna be neat. Like here's meme. Wah. Oh, I can actually pick up the negative again. I didn't actually know it worked like that, but alright. But now we have both, so that's cool. I don't... I don't want that. There's no good. But, yeah, now we have basically, like, if you hit someone with a Chaos card, they will just die. And that's neat. Works pretty well. Does the job. Does exactly what you expect it to do. Does exactly what you need it to do. It makes the job a little bit simpler. You you win. And since we now have the card Mimic, we can use it an infinite amount of times. So all bosses will just instantly die. Even more so than usual. So, hey. We got something. We got the Polaroid and the negative at the same time, so if we get hit, we get a shield effect and everyone in the room dies, pretty much. We got double tears because the $3 bill is amazing. On occasion, <laughs> we got it several rooms in a row, now we got triple shot. And we still have the Spirit, uh, spirit of the Night as well, so our tears are going through every single rock in the game. And they're all transparent-like and it looks quite cool. And we accidentally ran in the right direction. How neat is that? How neat is that? I'm finding this incredibly neat. And I hope everyone else is too. Because it is a very neat experience for me. Whoop. Mamma Gertie, whoop. That was odd. <laughs> that looked very strange. <laughs> like, Mamma Gertie just took a bunch of damage suddenly and then weird things happened. I don't know what happened there. Hey, Krampus, I forgot you even existed. Man, I completely forgot Krampus was even a thing in this game until that, I, that, bot, that devil deal. We went in so many devil deals as well before he showed up. Like, we got actually literally every devil deal between, like, Basement 2 and onwards. And then the one in Necropolis 2 twice. And all the way over here, Krampus was just waiting for us. Like, I'm still here. I still exist. Don't forget about me. I'm important. I'm someone you unlocked so long ago. You unlocked me by getting so many devil deals in previous runs, and here we are. Hey, sure. Little Gish. Can't just leave him alone. Plus he's all big now because we got the thing. So yeah. I can't just leave him be like that. Boop. I missed my chaos card. <laughs> I mean it doesn't really matter because he still died in like seconds. But still I was hoping to kill him. Now the chaos card's just stuck in a wall and it didn't do anything. And that was just rather silly. Look at all these champions though. The champion trinket. I wonder how much it affects it really because no one ever takes this thing. I don't think anyone's ever taken this thing more than once while realizing what it actually does because it's just there is no real benefit to it it's it's just a nice little purple thing that you take along and have a good time with maybe we'll get the secret 19th ending now that no one knows about no one because no one ever decided to take the spinket all the way along not a single person oh no we took the damage how are we going to live now no one knows. Everyone's all sad. If we could, like, get a red chest to take us to the devil deal and just leave, that would be cool. But I'm guessing the odds of that happening are fairly low. Fairly low odds. Kind of sad that way. But what are you going to do? There's no choice. Boop. <sighs> I don't even want that coin. That coin disgusts me. It lives. It dies. We go. I don't think I even really needed to use that Chaos card there either, because she just sort of died. It was very sad. But even when you have the Polaroid, if as long as you have the negative, you can still go on to the Dark Room as well. So we will be continuing all the way, because we got both. 
because we got both, we can keep going. If we only had the Polaroid, then... Well, you've seen it with that one last run. You just stop, you just get the ending you get before you even unlock the negative. Which is kind of sad, because the Polaroid's really, really good. <laughs> and having it for, like, if, if you have a choice between the two and you could go anywhere with either, then you would basically always choose the Polaroid, because it's just the better of the two items. But, you know, at least this way, uh, you'll also get to see the other item every now and again. This runs just sort of the exception where we have both. I do not care about the little bums right now. I do not wish to give them any money. My money is sacred to me and I need it. I need it to make purchases. I need it to make the finest purchases that we may find in the dark room. They don't exist, but you never know. There might be a black market. And normally you can't use, you know, money on those. But still, I need it. I need it. So here's the Fallen. He's gonna get killed by my flies. We got the shield effect. Boop. That's the chaos card. And that's it. We actually skipped the phase because the chaos card is that powerful. It actually skips the entire foot phase. It's weird. And they actually, like, it, it used to be possible that you just dealt so much damage with some builds that you'd skip that phase as well. But I haven't actually had that happen in a really long time. So they may have fixed that. But with the chaos card, it still works. Chaos card still... Deal such a ludicrous amount of damage, I suppose, that it will just destroy this the entire third phase of the battle without it ever even appearing. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of neat. We never got that dead cat, though. I was hoping for it. We got pretty much every other guppy piece in the game, except for three of them. <laughs> but, you know, it is still... Uh, very sad. Very sad. Rainbow baby. That's gonna look beautiful when there's all big... Once again, we have a really large group of friends following us around. It happens quite frequently now that we just get like 18 followers following us around. It's quite nice. Makes me feel wanted. Makes me feel wanted when I'm playing Isaac and have a large following of friends follow me around. Ouija board uh, does basically the same as the Spirit of the Night, only Spirit of the Night also gives you flying. So it's entirely pointless. Ooh, Daddy Long Legs. How nice. I haven't seen him in a while, actually, either. A lot of items that I haven't seen in a while, but then again... If you do, like, ten runs, it already feels like it has been a while ago since you've seen an item from the first run if you haven't seen it twice. So it's like, eh. I don't know what a while ago is anymore. Just long enough that I don't actually remember having it for a reasonable amount of time. It makes me sad when I miss items like that. But it's okay, though. Oh, another fly. That's right, we're gonna become Lord of the Flies if this keeps up. I like it. Probably not, though, because this is the last room of the run. Unless we can explore the entire floor. I might actually just do that. Here's the lamb. He's two people sometimes. Whoop. I missed the second part. Oh, whoop. I just used the card instead because we don't need it anymore. I wonder how it actually works if you use that on Mega Satan. I've never actually tried. But the odds of us seeing Mega Satan right now are fairly low. Unless we get like a, uh... Dad's key. Then we could technically still see him. And we will, if we get a Dad's key. A Dad's key sounds strange when you say that loud, but... It is sort of correct terminology. Is it correct terminology? Or is it just, if you see that key, that probably makes more sense. Let's talk about grammar while we're playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth in the dark room with a ridiculous build. Let's talk about grammar. Now is the right time. And I did say that once we get out of basement one, we'll probably beat the run. And was I not right? Was I not speaking truthfully? Was I not speaking the opposite of lies, the truth? Yes, I was. Because I know how to prepare mentally for victory. And I was right. Had we died in basement one, that run definitely would not have succeeded. And here we are. Here we are now. Boop. Getting guillotines, getting confused about how to go through doors. Most likely. I'm ne I'm still not good at using this, I'll be honest. I'm still not very good at like knowing where like my body is at any point in time. It's also just so small. It's so small compared to your head. I guess your head is just really big normally, but right, like, especially with the Spirit of the Night as well, where our body is just two wings right now, and, like, ghost. <laughs> like, that's pretty much all we're seeing of our body right now, so it's like, eh, I don't know. Oh, Pyromaniac, sure. Why not? Why not give me Pyromaniac? Why not give me Epic Fetus and Ipecac as well while you're at it? If we're working that way. Like, those explosions that hurt me right now. We would have missed seeing that had we not continued with this run for a little bit longer. So there you go. Worthwhile. Got to have a learning experience, sort of. Expect, except that we've already seen Pyromaniac several runs now, and we know what it does. But 
Uh, was that not the case? Woof. Hey, now that's an item I haven't seen in a long, long time. Super giant Bob's brain. Look at them go. That is a long time ago that we've seen Bob's brain. That actually is quite a long time ago because... I mean, I had like an entire cult going. It was great, but suddenly he just stopped appearing. Pandora's box usually drops a penny. Didn't even do that anymore, so <laughs> good. <laughs> Very useful in the dark room. Also in uh, the chest, actually, where it's equally useful. Whereas in the shale and uh, the cathedral, it drops like a devil deal item or a angel room item, respectively. So there it's actually quite good, but everywhere else, well, here specifically, really, is not so great. Not so good. What do we got? Two keys and... Nothing. All right. Whatever, then. I'll just leave. I don't think my super secret room's gonna contain anything interesting. I also don't know where it is, so that's also kind of a problem. I, could, I mean, it could be here, I suppose. Could be maybe there. Could be over here. Could be all the way to the ups. To the ups and downs. Side to side. Show me my super secret room. I know you exist. Hey. Ooh. Does it contain treasure? Yep. Chemical peel. That's the nice thing about when, like those machines and also the arcade machines as well. They drop things when you destroy them here. That was exciting. That was not an overly like special run or anything. But we killed a lamb for funsies randomly. Isaac's gone missing. We got a ridiculous build. Everyone died. I stood true to my promise that if we got past basement one, we'd live. And I'm glad, because otherwise I'd be branded a liar throughout the history books. And that would be pretty terrible. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't think we actually got a single new item, but hey, you know, it it worked out. We saw some of the old items that we haven't seen in a while. And, uh, yeah, we should, like, at some point I should just do an Isaac run and just try to sort of break the game almost and try to just get every item, but eh, we'll, we'll get there. Eventually we'll get everything, slowly but surely. Not like these videos are ever going to end. So, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. Bye.